Inspectors was driving this bonkers because she was reading the clock every 10 minutes. Oh. Yeah, I would probably take it back. Time was not flying that day. I pledge you to be this to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Call this greater board meeting in order. Roll call so is everybody present or gone who is excused. And the February 15th, 2018 regular board meeting minutes. Any corrections or questions? I'll make a motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. And opposed? Approved. February 22nd, 2018 committee of the whole meeting minutes. I'll make a motion to approve. I'll second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Approved. February 22nd, 2018, closed <coughs> session committee of the whole. Move to approve. I'll second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Approved. February 27th, 2018, committee of the whole meeting minutes. Move to approve. I'll second. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Approved. February 27th, 2018, closed session committee of the whole meeting minutes. Move to approve. All second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Approved. Uh, I believe there's no agenda changes tonight. So we'll go to license of permits. We have operator licenses number 105 for Keelan Vanderbort and 106 for Timothy Muller. Uh, temporary Class B, Class B license for Bethlehem Lutheran Church at the Opera House on March 10th. And temporary operator licenses number 12 for Colin Worth and number 13 for Tabitha Worth for that event. All of the operator's licenses have received Sergeant Barr's signature in approval, so I would be looking for a motion to approve. I'll make that motion. Okay, All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Approved. Uh, no citizens present, so I don't believe there's any pre-registered. Committee reports, Planning and Zoning Commission. This is part of uh, the administrator's report. You know, so you have a meeting coming up, March 13th. And she said that it was for two land divisions, which will then go to the board for approval on the 15th. They'll be looking at the downtown zoning code review and discussion and introduction to the institutional zoning district. No unfinished business, so we'll go into new business. R218 resolution authorizing the representative to file the Wisconsin RPC and DNR Great Lakes Basin Tree Planting Grant Program. <laughs> okay. Yeah, <laughs> this, the resolution is a necessary component of most governmental grant programs. Wisconsin RPCs and the DNR 2018 Great Lakes Basin Tree Grant Grant, Grant, Grant Program will fund the tree projects within the Greater Great Lakes Basin. Uh, what this uh, resolution does is authorizes me to file on behalf of the village. It's typical for most grants nowadays that involve state or federal money. So I'm looking for approval. Move to approve. Uh R-2-18, resolution authorizing the representative to file the Wisconsin RPC and DNR Great Lakes Basin Tree Planting Grant Program. I'll second that. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Approved. R-3-18, resolution amending, revising various cemetery and alcohol administrative fees. Probably me, Emma, but I'll, I'll start it out. Uh, what I'm looking for is uh, we're adjusting a, a 
ask you with a line item regarding cemetery burial fees and it's needed to help offset some of the maintenance costs we're experiencing up there and mowing and the like uh, stuff like that we're not raising it much but i believe 75 dollars on average uh, we're still uh, on the lower end of burial fees so i think we're fine i don't know if land has anything to add to that i was just going to speak on the second half of it instead of the people who were in the cemetery drinking alcohol it's it's about the publication fee for when somebody comes in as a single license and they don't come in as part of the group our publication fees are higher than what they're paying so what we're doing is getting a couple of dollars ahead of what the um, newspapers publication fees are rather than subsidizing hey Carl would it make sense and I don't know that it would if we are on the lower end of the fees, would it make sense to just keep it a little higher and just keep it there for a while? Well, I, I think, uh, again, we some were 100, some were 75. Uh, while we want to certainly make enough to cover maintenance, you know, it's, it's really a not-for-profit business. So I think, me and Lynn, we, we should be good for the next couple of years. Uh, what we're doing is we're switching over to a different company to mow and maintain it. The same people that bury do the burials for us they're going to maintain it this year i had a lot of complaints last year from the existing company not that i wouldn't have them back but we're going to try somebody else and they're just a tad higher but i think the end end result will be better quality uh, maintenance so. okay. well, i'll make a motion to approve our Second. all in favor say aye aye, aye. aye. opposed approved this it look like a roll call doesn't it it's got have A's and nays on the bottom. I've heard it's kind of true. No, that's just the number of A's and nays. Oh, I's and okay. Aye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Any other miscellaneous topics for future discussion? Hearing none, move on to report of village officials. I have the administrator's report was in her packet. Uh, Diane said she would be available if we have any questions. I was going to take number four for her. So. Okay. Again, that's sewer and water service to the east. Uh, that's referencing uh, the all world Ford dealership that's going out there. Uh, we. Well, we don't have a feasibility report finalized, but uh, we do know a few key opinions regarding our ability to service that dealership. Uh, we would have no issue providing sewer there by gravity. Uh, we can provide 35 PSI of water to the property. Uh, is that over a thousand gallons per minute? 35 is the minimum you want. We can get 35 to that parcel, but if they're going to run suppression, fire suppression, <coughs> or car wash, they're going to need their internal booster. And uh, Public Works is recommending against the village supplying a utility-owned booster system no, no, for one can, singular they property. Can, they can throw it. Yeah. They just provide a power uh, pump in the facility. So, I, I, it looks feasible. So, we're going to move forward with that. I know Greenville is also uh, looking into it as well. So, is that something is that you, for you guys? Got confirmation, confirmation from them, or is it uh, still yeah. just? That was from both of them. Yeah, it was from a man. The like said, final report's not done, but they did say we oh, could really? service it. Yeah, we only go to uh, Greenville. Oh, okay. Okay. Which hopefully someday we can get re 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 uh, re route it because that's we could be there before Greenville or Arlington. I just asked Jack if that 35 PSI was enough for them to walk up to my Question, place. Jack. If we actually have a village yeah. extending yeah. out that far, would the fire district go further? I hope so. I mean, I, I would I would well, hope. Well, if we annex it, right? Okay. You guys the water and sewer? Yeah, yeah. If we annex it and we had fire sprinkler or fire uh, items out so. that way, then I would assume that we would, our fire district would expand accordingly. Oh, yeah. And that'll be a question I'll we'll ask with Ask Greenville and because that's actually Greenville's area, so. Yeah, like I said, Greenville's looking at it as well. There is nothing written in stone that we're gonna do it or they're gonna do it, but they're doing their due diligence as far as uh, research. Yeah, but we kind of, they, they, there's kind of really no way for them to do it, is there? 
Oh, you, you can, can do it always with, away. with money. You can do it with yeah. anything. Yeah. yeah. It's hard to work spend. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Depends well, on you know what they're looking for a rate of return on their investment. So. Uh, that's basically what I'm going to have on that. Uh, with the police chief hiring part of there, Diane did tell me that that Julie from Diversified. Huh? Diversified. 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 <coughs> Could not get out this week and is leaving either Sunday night or Monday and would give us a verbal. We won't get the writ her written one until she gets back. We will have a verbal as to yes or no as to and whatever she finds out that before she actually gets to Florida. So as soon as she is done there, she will contact us and let us know what she found out. What happens after that then? Now, and we get a verbal that says thumbs up. Is well, then it's up to us whether we say yes, you're hired, and you start on such and such a date, or well, we have to also look at those. Things right, that, that, was, that was my question. But we really haven't had that conversation with him on what we can and can't do with him. So that would be the next step. Yes. Yeah. Well, we'd have to decide what we say well, yes or no on it. Well, we agreed on everything except for the couple that Diane didn't talk to Bob to, right? Bob, mm -hmm. right? Right. There was, yeah. Diane was going to talk to Bob to get yes. verbal. Uh, everything else was. But it might, might be good to just to <coughs> look at those again just to make sure that everything is what we Because he might have some. Agree there on. could be some. We come with something and then there could be a rebuttal too. So. Well, I would think that that could be handled probably. I mean, we gave Diane. The parameters on yeah. what we wanted to do, and if it goes beyond that, then I suppose we got thought, but I can't imagine that it would. Mm -hmm. Okay, I was well, just she'll, she'll probably discuss with them the parameters we came up with, right. and then we we'll get together and discuss whatever his comments are on those parameters. Well, I know he gave us. Well, again, we'll let that go. I don't want to sit and beat it because there's nothing to <coughs> talk with it. I'm just curious. Uh -huh. Let's see, was there anything else on here? That And she said if we did have any questions, we could call her and ask her. She would be available. So. The one comment that she has down here at the bottom that's in bold, where she's asking people to make contact, the league is really concerned that municipalities do contact the legislators to say thank you. They think that if they don't hear back, that this thing could die a death next year, no matter what. So they feel it's important for people to go ahead and make sure that we know that they were out there trying to work for us. So they'll do it again next year. Okay. Okay, then uh, <coughs> next on here is Clark Treasurer. I don't have anything this time. Mm -hmm. no, I, I don't mind hearing from you. I said, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 Kelly was nasty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Carl. Uh, spring weight limits uh, for trucks and heavy vehicles goes into effect Monday. Uh, Memorial Square uh, starting to get some work done on that. Chris completed the fabrication of the iron fence that's going to be installed along the back wall along the alley. That's going to be going off for powder coating any day now. Uh, it's going to be similar in appearance to the one on the fishing pier, so it looks really nice. Uh, the library, I know a long time ago, I talked to Kelly about doing some improvements in there. Well, Jeff finally, let's say finally, he got on converting all the lighting in there to LED, except for the tube lighting, of which there's, I believe, uh, 10 or so of the painting tube lights. Those are going to be a little more difficult because there's triple tube all in there. Yeah, not, not a big fan of them. But everything else is converted to LED. And uh, if it's possible, I'd like to keep going through the building with that type of conversion, especially in areas like the PD. Uh, not so much in here, we don't use these that much, but areas with intense lighting usage like the PD and the library. I'd we like have to. lights on in our area for a lot yeah. of the day too. Yeah. Intense. Like I said, these are a little more tricky here because uh, sensors and the two-phase wiring. It has two settings. It goes on and then it goes on even brighter. So that's a little harder to do with LED. 
we'll continue looking at that. So that's all I have. Any questions for Carl? Not Brian? Nope. There's nothing. Library director's not here. Have anything to add for her? No, I talked to her earlier today and she had nothing specific for this meeting. No, probably next month. Bob? Yeah, two things. Um, I will, in the next meeting, I expect to have the ordinance regarding the hearing exam. Here are some movies playing in theaters. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I, I, I did a lot of movies. I did a draft and uh, I sent it to Jim Macy for a review and uh, we haven't talked yet. So that's where that's at. Um, and the Schilling property is scheduled again for sheriff sale on Thursday, April 5 at 9 a.m. And that's all I have. <coughs> Any questions for Bob? You'll send that out before the next meeting. But yep, I, 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 will, yep. I probably will be missing at least the next two meetings. Yeah, that'll be my plan is to, to individually right. send it to you guys to look at it. Yeah. I won't be there. I just yeah. to take guys to do that. I think that's all we have for Bob. We'll go to presentation of counts and other claims against the village. The voucher list consists of deposit of payroll deductions, payment of loans, vouchers number 24502A through 24515A and 24533 through 24563 in the amount of $861,940.85 two direct, sorry, three direct deposit payrolls, $849.41, $27,134.34, and $2,332.23. And water and sewer utility vouchers number 10260 through 10267 in the amount of $42,301.78. I just have a real quick question, Carl. That, um, that fire, inspe the fire extinguisher inspection annual, are they replacing or are they charging? Or what, what they do you do a little bit of everything. <laughs> if it needs replacing, it's, it's replaced. Okay. If it needs so that's why it's so. Well, it's not just this building, it's every vehicle we own. We've got four or five squads. And okay. okay. All four or five trucks, motors, no. everything. Everything. As every building we own as well. Every building, every well house. Every year you go. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. It's not bad. It, it, we changed from uh, American <coughs> Fire, something or another, to CentOS, and it's actually a little cheaper per unit. It's just that we had more work done this time. We had to replace some. Thank you. It's not really any easy way around that cost. I would be good to approve. Let me ask one question. Oh, sorry. That's all right. Judicial continuing education. Mm -hmm. That is a straight fee that the state charges for the judge every year. Which he attends. Yes, he does give us the um, receipts for it and everything, so I know that he has attended. Okay. <coughs> I'll make a motion. And I'll approve. Second. Roll call. Aye. 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 Approved. Communications and miscellaneous business. Black Otter Lake District. Uh, we had a meeting uh, the 21st. We talked uh, <coughs> about the DASH program again. And uh, sent in a note for, for, to look at the draft. And then add Al and Carl. Yeah, are we? Oh, hell. So what's the day of March 1st, all right? Yeah, we have a uh, bid opening on the 16th for the DASH program. Yeah, and we'll be meeting on the 21st for approval of that. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. The Hopefully DASH we get the a decent price, that would be nice. That's all I have. Alright. Well, we have no citizens present for comment or suggestion, so that we're going to lose one more. I will make that motion. Okay. All in favor? 